Welcome friends Kolkata also known as Calcutta is the capital of the Indian state of West Bengal located on the eastern bank of the Hooghly River the city is approximately 80 kilometers west of the border with Bangladesh it is the primary business commercial and financial hub of eastern india and the main port of communication for northeast india as well as having the third largest urban economy of india kolkata is also known as the cultural capital of india for the city's historical and architectural significance so on that note today i will tell you the top 5 most thrilling infrastructural projects which are coming up in the state of west bengal which will surely give you a sensation of pride for india's growth trajectory so first up the iconic kolkata east west metro line The master plan of the metro corridor was made in 1971 along with the north south corridor connecting the office district of Bidhan Nagar with the twin city and transportation hub Havra via another transport hub of the city Sialda and the central business district Esplanade by an underwater metro line It was a 4874.6 crore project sanctioned in 2008 by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. The foundation stone was laid on 22nd February 2009 and construction started in March 2009. As far as the recent development in the East West Metro is concerned, the ambitious tunneling work was completed by the tunnel boring machine called Survi in East West Metro corridor at Bow Bazar on 15th May 2021. With this breakthrough the entire TBM tunneling for the Kolkata East West Metro project is completed. The stretch was difficult for tunneling work as it had century old buildings. According to the statement by the Ministry of Railways this channeling tunnel drive of 800 meter has been completed successfully. And more importantly he said that all the necessary protocol and precautions during the completion of work was maintained. The estimated completion cost of the project is rupees 8575 crore and the target date of completion is December 2021. The total route length of the project is 16.6 km consisting of 12 stations. The project will ease traffic congestion, enhance urban connectivity and provide a cleaner mobility solutions to lakhs of everyday commuters. Interestingly, the Kolkata underwater metro line is a part of the East West Metro line connecting the Sialda and Havra stations. The tunnel known as the East West Metro tunnel will have a part running 30 meters under the Hooghly River of about 520 kilometers, which is deemed as the most exciting part of the project. While the regular metro line has been functional since February 13 of 2020 the underwater portion of the tunnel was expected to be completed by 2021 but delays due to pandemic might further push the completion date to 2022 now let's look at the second biggest project which is the majestic silicon valley the proposed bengal silicon valley it hub is an innovative information technology hub cutting edge technology which is envisioned to attract investment in it and telecom projects with employment potential This will be a futuristic hub that will catalyze the economic system in the state and will act as a beacon for the IT industry. The foundation stone of this project was laid on 13th August 2018 by Honorable Chief Minister of West Bengal Shrimati Mamta Banerjee. The hub is planned to be set up on approximately 200 acres of land in a strategic location in New Town's Action Area 2 near Eco Park which can be reached within 10 minutes from Kolkata International Airport. The new town Salt Lake Sector 5 twin towns together have more than 74 IT companies and boasts of an eco- ecosystem which is conducive to the growth of IT enterprises. The proposed Bengal Silicon Valley IT hub is expected to be home to MNCs, startups, incubators, investors all working on deep innovation in technology and tech enabled business applications with a global footprint with few specific goals. Hence envisaged as a world class technology center the Bengal Silicon Valley IT hub will provide the entire gamut of physical infrastructure to accommodate tech led enterprises from different domains the silicon valley project had started with 100 acres and as the area has been filled up the government has allotted another 100 acres to 20 IT companies to invest in the region now let's move to the third biggest infra project in the state West Bengal State Cabinet has approved the construction of a deep sea port at Tajpur. The state government will build the port at a cost of rupees 16000 crores under the West Bengal Maritime Board and West Bengal Industrial Development Corporation Limited. It will be the first 
states deep sea port it is expected to generate employment for 25000 people the entire iron and steel factories around kharagpur will get a boost by having a port nearby the port will also enable exports from the iron and steel plants at bardhaman bakura purulia and banpur moreover the port will help seafood exports from west bengal's coastal districts to southeast asia and japan benefiting fishermen and the seafood processing industry it is expected to be decommissioned by 2023 let's talk about the last but not the least mega project kalyani aims announced in 2014 and approved in 2015 and construction started in 2016 and the institute started operation in 2019 kalyani aims is one of the finest medical schools of the country According to the various rankings of AIMS All India Institute of Medical Science it comes just after AIMS Delhi and AIMS Bhubaneswar in spite of being so new as of 2021 the budget for the hospital is 721 crore AIMS Kalyani was set up as a part of the Pradhan Mantri Swasthya Suraksha Yojana initiative announced by the government of India in 2003 and officially launched in March 2006 for the purpose of correcting regional imbalances in the availability of affordable tertiary healthcare services through setting up aims delhi like institutions and upgrading government medical colleges the permanent 180 acre campus of aims kalyani is under construction with an expected completion date in october 2021 on that note let us move to the fourth largest infrastructure investment in the state of west bengal hiranandani group to invest 8500 crore for industrial data center park in west bengal mumbai based hiranandani group has said it will invest rupees 8500 crore to develop industrial and data center parks in west bengal the group has entered into an mou in the state of west bengal to set up logistics and hyperscale data center parks in the region also it has signed an mou to acquire a 100 acre land at uttarpara near kolkata to set up an integrated logistics and hyperscale data center park by group companies greenbase and yota respectively west bengal is the gateway to the east hence it is an ideal hub for logistics and industrial development with excellent road rail and riverine connectivity the entire state and northeastern region will benefit from the data center businesses and digitization revolution the project is slated to be completed by the end of 2023 the last up in this list is one of the most important projects as it will directly lead to employment opportunities of millions of unskilled and skilled workers in the state the state government under the leadership of chief minister mamata banerji is planning to set up a toy park in different territories of the region hence the allocation of 20 acres of land is already in talks initially near kolkata it goes without saying that bengal has huge scope for this industry considering the fact that the manufacturers can get cheap yet experienced labor force also they get an advantage of a major port also All, over 80% of toys in india is imported most of which are from china other countries from where toy import takes place are malaysia hong kong uk and germany toy market in india is worth rupees 10000 to 12000 crore and out of that 70% is imported from china kolkata accounts for 25% of toy imports via haldia and kolkata port apart from bengal kolkata caters to north east other eastern region states and some parts of eastern up as well the value of import routed through kolkata would be over rupees 2000 crore annually incidentally west bengal alone is rupees 1000 crore market for toys while kolkata alone accounts for rupees 700 to 750 crore the aim is to become self independent in the field of toys production by the year 2024 Now as we come to the end of this video I would request you to like share and subscribe if you will the next video will cover the top 5 thrilling mega projects lined up in the beautiful state of Assam hence to tune in for more such updates hit the bell icon positively